All right, hey, this is uh, Sean and Sean Jr. here with Rugged Outdoors. And today, well, we're pretty stoked. We came out to our property. We had to do some little bit of work on some uh, deer feeders and stuff. But one of the things that we really enjoy is Ruger makes this um, 22 rifle called a Ruger 1022. It's the cheapest gun that you can literally turn into the most expensive gun you own. And that happens from changing the stock, the barrel, whole nine yards. So you can see Sean Jr. here has got, um, we've got it all decked out, so don't you? So this is the Magpul X Hunter uh, 1022 uh, replacement stock. Uh, this barrel's from Precision Tactical, we replaced that. We do have a suppressor on it um, for that to help. We also replaced the trigger. Ruger makes a upgraded uh, 1022 trigger. And, but the thing that we're out here to test today, because we've shot the gun as it is, we've got a, a Nikon Pro Staff rimfire specifically for the 22, but, um, what we're really out here to test today is I replaced the bolt with this one from Firefly. And the reason why we had to do that was the gun itself, um, it comes with a, a great uh, bolt and everything. But when you use subsonic rounds to be as quiet as you can, um, it doesn't cycle the bolt and the receiver. So uh, we found some stuff online that, lets, that shows us that we could uh, replace that. And so we did that this morning and now we're going to see how it does. So Sean Jr., if you want to go ahead and, you know, we always check. We're pretty safety conscious. We've already been downrange and checked to make sure we're good. Uh, um, there's a deer. I heard something. Yeah, well, it's not deer rifle season, so we're good. So we're not going to try that. But so as you go ahead and see how it sounds. So this other thing that has to happen, you actually have to put one in the chamber. So let's go ahead and do that. I do. So that's pretty quiet. So now we're, I'm going to pull over to my 1022 and we're going to compare. All right, so we swapped out. Sean Jr. here has got a Ruger 1022. But what's really cool about this one is this is their takedown version. We can actually take it apart um, and put it in a backpack, which is fantastic. Well, as you can tell, we still got the stickers on it. We haven't done anything to this rifle. So I'll let you see what the sound is in comparison to the one we just shot. All right, Sean Jr., go. Yeah, quite a bit of difference in sound. So let's switch back to the suppressed, quiet one, the one we call stapler. All right, so this time, Sean Jr., go ahead and fire off one or two rounds. Obviously, do it controlled. Um, don't just willy-nilly, but let's listen to how quiet it is in comparison and if it cycles. Wow, that is unrealistically quiet in comparison to what it would be without. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the suppressor off and let you see what that sounds like. All right, so now we've taken the suppressor off the 1022 using quiet. Uh, CCI makes a 22 round, it's a subsonic round, and the Firefly. So we're going to see what that sounds like. All right, Sean Jr., go. Okay. All right, stop. There we go. So you can see the suppressor makes a huge amount of difference. Um, but even in our case, the subsonic rounds are much quieter than the non-subsonic rounds. So you have quite a bit of difference. But, you know, these 1022s are an absolute blast to play with. You think, Sean Thomas? Yeah, I mean, we thoroughly enjoy going out and shooting them. It's relatively inexpensive ammo-wise. By the time you trick everything out, it kind of gets a little dicey. But I'll put some links down in the video below. Uh, in the description down below and that'll kind of give you the links of here, here's what we did here's the different pieces that we used and you know i hope you enjoyed the video um, feel free to follow us if you like uh, hit the subscribe button somewhere down there and uh, like the video if you have any questions about it and i'm sure i'm gonna get some comments about how i shouldn't have been on this side of the ejector okay yeah it's gonna happen um and uh, we'll go from there thanks guys bye